Hello, Internet. It is I'm Malik Aaron Aaron, and welcome back to Box Office Predictions. Today, we're going to be talking about the Iron Claw. So, as usual, we're going to be going over the pros and cons, so let's get to it. Pros. Reviews for this movie are very strong. It currently has an 88% critic score, so that's obviously a pro. No audience score or cinema score yet because the movie's not out to the public yet. But with the critic score, that's an easy pro right there. So that's pro number one. Pro number two is the fact that this movie definitely stands out amongst everything out in the market, mainly because of the subject matter. The subject matter is that this movie is about a wrestling family. And when it comes to wrestling and movies, we don't really have we don't really have a lot of those. I mean, should we have wrestlers in movies, like you know, wrestlers that become actors like the Rock, Dwayne Johnson, and John Cena, and Dave Batista. But we don't have too many movies that are specifically about wrestling. And because of that, this movie stands out a lot amongst everything else. So because of that simple fact, um, I'll label that as a pro. Another pro is the fact that wrestling itself is very popular. I mean, I've been a fan of it for like over a decade. And... There's millions and millions of fans around the world. I mean, 2023 has been a pretty, it's been a hell of a year for wrestling. Well, the last two years have been a hell of a year, to hell of two years for wrestling for many reasons. But particularly like with WWE, you know, World Wrestling Entertainment, man, it's been wild. I mean, recently you had the CM Punk come back. It was like the biggest return really ever. <laughs> um. So. Yeah, a lot's been going on. WWE's probably had their strongest year in at least like a decade or two. Probably a, at least two decades, I would say. And obviously this isn't like a WWE like uh, movie or anything, but it's still wrestling. Wrestling has a big fan base and no doubt those fans, including me, are going to want to see this to see what's about. And plus this is about one of the most um, well-known wrestling families out there, the Von Erichs. So, yeah, I say this being, you know, wrestling's large fan base is a positive, it's a pro, but there's also a con to it that I'll explain later, but because of how big wrestling is, I'm going to label that as a pro. Um, I guess I can say this is from A24, and A24, they have, like, a history of releasing... Not just weird horror movies, but also like some awards season movies too. Like Everything Ever All at Once, Lady Bird, Uncut Gems, uh, Moonlight. Like they have a history of doing that. And they have a history of being like cool and different compared to like the bigger studio. The bigger studios out there. So I'm going to label them as a pro too. And I think that's really it. Yeah, I think that's it. So, for pros. Okay, cons. Competition. There's too much. I forgot to mention of Aquaman, but competition is way too, there's way too much out there. There's way too many movies coming out at once. I think that's terrible. And what usually happens is that only a few survive and the rest perish. And I really don't want this to be one of the ones that perish, but... There may be a chance of that happening because you only have so many screens to work with, okay? And less screens you have, the bigger the hill you got to climb <laughs> as a result. So, yeah, and plus, like, there's definitely movies out there that are, I guess, bigger than this. Like Aquaman 2 and Wonka and Migration. So, this way might suffer because of that. And not to be, oh, Color Purple, too. So... Yeah, dealing with like an overload of competition, that's definitely a con. Another con is that wrestling movies, there's not a lot of them, and they're not all that successful. I mean, I can really count the number of wrestling movies, at least theatrical wrestling movies, like on one hand. Because I know that Fighting with My Family is one. I know... Uh, Pro re- professional wrestling movies. The Wrestler is another one. Uh, Ray the Rumble. Oh man, that's a that was a classic right there. I guess there's no holds barred. I 
guess. But that was like way in the eighties. And that was uh starred Hulk Hogan, like the peak of Hulkamania and everything. Well, let's talk about Ready to Rumble for a quick moment, because this is like the the wrong way to do a wrestling movie. Because this movie's notorious for not only being trash, but also it had a real impact on wrestling. Because this was from WCW when they were around. And WCW had the big brain idea to give their world heavyweight championship, their prestigious world title, to David Arquette, someone who's not even a wrestler. <laughs> like That was their big plan. Didn't work <laughs> at all. It was a total disaster. And one of the biggest just... Ugh, one of the worst decisions ever in the history of the business. So yeah, that's like the worst case scenario. But the biggest wrestling movie here is like The Wrestler, which was like Mickey Rourke's like comeback movie. But even then, it only did like modestly like forty six million. I mean, compared to a six million budget, that's good. But that's not like a great amount of money. <laughs> but the movie is like, it definitely feels like the re- the Iron Claw is gonna be more like The Wrestler then ready to rumble which is a good thing and the last wrestling movie we really got was a fighting with my family which was very much a wwe uh about wwe straight up about wwe about uh the well soraya the former page uh from wwe and her story this didn't do that great i mean it did okay enough but it opened like 7.8 million and it made like 22 million like, domestically 41 million worldwide which is not a great amount either I amount mean, on a budget of like 11 million which is like fine but yeah these wrestling movies don't make a whole lot of money and rumble that was supposed to be theatrical but that was an animated movie and i went to paramount plus instead of theatrical so i can't really discuss that but yeah wrestling movies there's not a lot of them and the ones that do exist they weren't exactly the big hits <laughs> so I'm going to label that as a con. There's also the fact that wrestling... I mean... With wrestling as a whole... There's it's a there's a big audience out there. But... <laughs> I feel like... I don't know. It feels like wrestling is kind of in a bubble. When it comes to like popularity. Like... It's, it's weird. Because like wrestling... Is very strange. There's some fucked up elements of it. Like very fucked up elements to it lots of like real life horror stories regarding it like a lot of really bad trashy awful storylines and wrestlers and characters it, it's a lot and and the fact that wrestling has always had this reputation of oh it's, it's a bunch of fake bs it's not real i mean yes i know wrestling is scripted it's a work it's but like people those wrestlers still feel pain like, those bumps they take, they're not fake at all. Like, going through a table, that's not fake. <laughs> Falling off a ladder, that's not fake at all. So, yeah. But wrestling has his reputation, that reputation. It's always had to deal with that. It's kind of, like, frowned upon amongst a lot of people. Like, Which, I mean, I kind of get, because wrestling can be kind of terrible sometimes. <laughs> uh, but, yeah, the fact that wrestling is kind of, like, in a bubble... And I guess, like, the the amount of wrestling fans out there, I, I don't know. Wrestling being in a bubble, let's just say that. Being, like, a, very much in a bubble when it comes to pop culture. Um, I'm going to label that as a con. And I think that's kind of it. Well, I guess I can mention that this movie might only appeal to wrestling fans and wrestling fans alone because of the subject matter. And, oh, I, I didn't even mention... The subject matter is sad as hell because it goes over what's called a Von Eric curse. If you look into it, if you do research, it is a sad as fuck story with a lot of tragedy. Like a lot of the brothers here just die legit like one after another. It is absolutely horrendous. And the movie is very much about that. So it's going to be a really depressing watch. And I don't know if people want to watch something depressing over the holidays. I mean, I'm willing to do it. I'm fine with it. But I don't know too many people who are going to do the same. Um, 
so yeah the potentially depressing subject matter um i'm gonna label that as a con for some people not everyone but definitely a con and i think that's really it so three day and four day weekend i didn't mention christmas will help this movie i don't want to I already mentioned it several times. I don't want to do it again. But Christmas will help. Uh, but three day and four day, ugh. I don't have Thursday previews. You know, if I had Thursday previews, this would help me a lot. But I don't have those, so I'm just gonna have to guess it. Um, I don't know. This could overperform. It has. I could see it overperforming. I could see it doing better than expected. I can see it's maybe getting an audience, but for right now, I'm not super sure. So, I don't know. I'm, I'm going to throw out... Maybe this four-day could be less than 10 million, and it's three-day, I don't know, five to seven million. I'm going to go with that. I really wanted to do better than that, but at this point in time, I'm not super sure. And it's total be, I don't know, 20, 25 million. I'm just going to throw that out there. And then that that's it. So we got one more movie to discuss today. And then tomorrow will be American Fiction, Poor Things, and maybe the Salzar movie. I'm not super sure. Well, maybe not. Maybe just American Fiction, Poor Things. And... Friday, I will discuss Boys in a Boat, Color Purple, and Ferrari. Okay? <laughs> yeah, but last one for today will be Migration. All right, so stay tuned for that. But yeah, that's it. That's all. Make sure to subscribe, like this video, leave a comment, turn on notifications, share the whole drill. I'm going to check out more videos like this. i got playlists on the homepage. All previous prediction videos I made this year. You want to watch any of them from beginning to now. Uh, what were really any of them from this year or the past few years? You can go right ahead. There's also the canceled series where I go over all the movies that were supposed to come out but didn't. Never talked about Iron Claw once. So there's that. Uh, I have. There's 223 episodes of Cancel. No, I have to make a 224th one. I'll do that after I make my migration video. So yeah, stay tuned for that. So if you want to watch any of the past cancel episodes i'm on the channel you want to binge them all from beginning to now i highly encourage you to do that so go do it there's also uh box office recaps where i go over the box office results for any particular month um december recap will come out around the first week of december after that first weekend of december and mm. uh, that first weekend of january my bad um and, and at the same time i'll be making my two-part 2023 recap with winners and losers so stay tuned for those videos but if you want to watch any of the past recap videos i'm on the channel you can go right ahead and yeah that's it that's all i am out goodbye